The Pope kneels to wash the feet of a group of refugees. Nobody seems to care about the difference in their religions. Among them are Catholics, but also Muslims and a Hindu. He kneels before his pain and to the mixture of humiliation and fear of being expelled from Europe. As is the custom on every Holy Thursday, the Pope repeated the symbolic gesture of Jesus to the Apostles. He recalled that almost at the same time, Judas was selling Jesus for 30 coins. Anche oggi qui ci sono due gesti. Questo, tutti noi, insieme, Musulmani, Indi, Cattolici, Cotti, Evangelici, ma fratelli, figli dello stesso Dio, che vogliamo vivere in pace, integrati. Un gesto. Pope Francis specifically compared the acts of the terrorist attacks in Brussels with the same as Judas, and he pointed out to the others responsible for the slaughter. Three giorni fa, un gesto di guerra, di distruzione, in una città dell'Europa. La gente che non vuole vivere in pace. Ma dietro di quel, di, di quel gesto, come dietro di Giuda, c'erano altri. Dietro di Giuda c'erano quelli che hanno dato il denaro per, perché Gesù fosse consegnato. Dietro quel gesto. Sono i fabbricatori, i trafficanti delle armi, che vogliono il sangue, non la pace, che vogliono la guerra, non la fratellanza. The Pope specifically wanted to celebrate the most important mass of the year in this shelter to asylum seekers when Europe is expelling them from the continent. Siamo diversi, siamo differenti. Abbiamo differenti culture e religioni, ma siamo fratelli e vogliamo vivere in pace. E questo è il gesto che io faccio con voi. At the ceremony there were nearly 900 people. Most of them are forced migrants and refugees who have crossed the Mediterranean in small boats seeking a better life. Most are Muslims, but the Pope has not asked them about their religion. Of course, he did ask them to pray so that this gesture keeps spreading, and so they can all view each other as brothers. It was a very symbolic visit, full of gestures from Pope Francis. And when the ceremony ended, he stopped to greet nearly a thousand participants, one by one, a gesture that perhaps no one has had with them since they fled their homes.